Well, good afternoon, Facebook group. Thursday, June the 11th, and I'm coming to you from a beautiful park just up the street from my home. I had to get out, being very productive all morning, but it's time to step out and clear my mind. I've got some thoughts I'd like to share with all of you that assist me in uh, being in a better space and mindset every day. What am I talking about? What are the things that you and I can control? There are six things, five and one, six things that you and I can control every day in our lives. Let's start with number one. What's the first thing that you and I can control? First thing you can control is your attitude. Your attitude. Now I'm gonna give you examples of what I do. I'm not perfect, but it's gonna maybe ring some ideas for you to perhaps adopt into your life, into your daily routine, if you have an interest to do so. If you don't, then uh, listen up. If you don't wanna listen, then you don't have to. Here we go. Things you can control. Number one is your attitude. When you wake up every day, are you at the mercy of everyone else because everyone else and everything out there is typically negative? TV, social media, especially what's being posted these days with all that's going on and all the back and forth with all that's out there. You are in control of your attitude. Step one to control that, take ownership of what goes in here. It is so simple. Everyone out there over the centuries has shared with you and I what goes in here marries around up there and comes out the other side. It's important to have an attitude that you are in control of the day ahead. Wake up early morning, perhaps, and I may suggest for you, and take time for you before you just open up the world in front of you where everything rushes in and it starts to distort your attitude and what may be going on and what you're thinking. Take the time to put good thoughts in your mind with meditation, with scripture, with affirmations. Believe me, it works. You start to marinate in your mind things that are going to be forward thinking, future thinking for you. So your attitude you can control, number one. Number two thing you can control is what? This one is paramount. You can control your network. Who are you associating with? Who are you hanging around with? It is paramount that you hang around with people that want to raise you up. People that you look up to. People that have achieved in every facet of your life where you want to become. It is important then that you associate with people that are going to keep you growing, future thinking, not past and present. I come back to leadership and focus and attitude is forward thinking. Your network, who you surround yourself with, the world has repeated it a gazillion times. You're the average of the five people you hang around with. Check it out. If you're the smartest person in the room, you better check out of that room and go over to the next room and be in a room where you have to grow. People are going to pull you up from how much you're going to grow in that network that you're around. Very powerful in all aspects of your life. Very, very powerful. Third thing you can control is your physique. Now, if you have no interest in uh, getting healthier, that's absolutely fine. But for most people that I speak to, including myself, as we get older, we want to maintain as best shape as we can. So that's something you can control. I'm not asking you to walk from Vancouver, where I live here, out to Halifax on the East Coast or Newfoundland in Canada. But how about walking around your apartment block, around your block where you live in your home. Can you do that every single day if you're not doing anything now? How about if you've never done 
a push-up. Can you start by doing one push-up a day, every day for the next 60 days, and then move it up to two push-ups? Your physique is paramount, folks. The body we live in is your body. Better take care of it. It's vitally important if you're going to live a long, healthy, vibrant life. And then make sure you reach out to me or whoever you are working with in my company to make sure you get on the most highest efficacious quality antioxidant genetic supplements. Fourth thing that you can control is your attitude of gratitude. What do I do for that? I've got notices on my phone three, four times a day that go off. One just went off now at two o'clock. Count your blessings. No matter where I am every day, even if it's on a weekend, I tend to be right in the middle of something that's driving me through anxiety, productiveness, uh, fretfulness, and that pops up. Count your blessings. Count your gratitudes in life. Just try that every day. You may want to make yourself some reminders. You'll see when that moment hits, how you stop and just breathe for 10 seconds. You can control your gratitude. No matter what's going on in your life, you are beyond blessed with what you have, who you're surrounded with, and what's going on. Always, never forget that. You are so blessed beyond. Can things be better for you and I? Of course, and we're striving there. But before you can go there, you better thank the Lord for what you have today. No matter what it is, be grateful for it because there's people that are way worse off than you. Be grateful. Fifth thing you can control out of six. So you're still with me? Your habits. Oh, huge one. You can control your habits. You can control your habits. So just think of the word habits in your life every day as you wake up to when you go to sleep. What are things that you're doing habitually? Are they serving you well or are they not serving you well? You have to tell me that. I can't, I don't know what's going on for you. But for myself, for example, every morning when I wake up and I love Java coffee, love my coffee in the morning, but before I have my cup of coffee, I drink yay high uh, liters of water. Boom, down. The importance of water, as we all know, eight cups of water beyond every day is paramount for optimal health. That's a habit that I built in over the years. I wake up, fill up to the top, boom, down, then do whatever else I need to do, get on with everything else, but that becomes a habit. What are the habits in your life that you want to serve you well, again, in every area of your life? Habits are something you can control because there are good habits, there are bad habits. Not here to judge whosever's habits one has. It's up to you to put the right ones into play because you can control them. You can control them and then make them habitual to serve you well. And the final topic, the final point that you can control in your life, absolutely 100% in the world of business, whatever you're doing, is your work rate. You've got to got to go out there and hustle. You got to go out there and kick you know what in your business. The infamous Jim Rohn said, if he's able to close nine out of 10 customers and you can only close one out of 10 customers, you can beat that guy. How am I supposed to beat that guy? If he's calling 10 people, closing nine on a deal, I'm calling 10 people and I'm only closing one person. You can outwork that other salesman, that other individual, that other saleswoman. He closes nine out of 10, goes home for the day. You call 100 people closing one out of 10. How many are you going to close after calling 100 people? You got that right. If you're closing one out of 10 and you call 100, you'll close 10 out of 100 and you'll beat that other individual. Work ethic. Work ethic in your business. That comes down to our business, what I'm doing, and I'm reaching out to all my fellow um, network marketers out there. Get out there and make it happen. What do I do in this area that I can control at the end of the day when I've just exhausted everything with respect to my reach outs to my leaders, reach out to new prospects, Zoom meetings, etc. I will make three extra calls to brand new prospects outside of making new calls. 
just because I can do just a little bit more, just that little bit extra, that work rate. Guys, lots of things that you can control in your life. It's up to you. Your attitude, boy, you've got to control that. If not, you'll spiral into no man's land with all that is thrown against us. Number two, your network. Probably the most important thing you can control because you're, if you're in the wrong network, it ain't going to serve you well. Your physique, if you care about taking care of yourself, you're in control of walking around the block, doing one sit-up, one push-up, one pull-up, one a day. And do one tomorrow and one the next day. If you miss one, that's fine. Just don't miss two days in a row when it comes to moving your body. Number four, attitude of gratitude. You better be making sure that you're controlling that. Gratitude is everything. Gratitude. You can't have fear and gratitude thinking in the same moment. Be grateful every single day. Reminders popping up in your phone. Your habits are everything. Make sure your habits are serving you, not disserving you. And the final one is your work rate. That's something you can absolutely control in this world that you're working with. Whatever you're working out, whatever business you're doing, your work rate, your, 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 your hustle every day. You hear Gary Vaynerchuk say that all the time. Go out there and work your tail off and you'll see that the results from come true. From everyone that's made it in our industry or in any industry successfully, they've kicked butt. Rinse and repeat. Hope you got some value from that. Hope you're controlling those things in your life to serve you better and create the momentum in all aspects of your life that will serve you. God bless everyone. Bye-bye.